whole block out of it. My whole block, you'll never see them on the corner doing no dumb shit again. You know what I mean? All those kids will have a job where one of them might be my driver, one of them might be my stylist, one of them might be something, but they'll be doing something constructive with themselves. And that's kind of my personal idea of success. You get, you get. Well, I want to say that I think the definition of success is just basically, it sounds funny, but just swipe. What I mean by swag is that you make people want to be Canadian, you make people want to be Quebec. Quebec. In the sense that, like, I was, I don't know if there's any, uh, I don't know if there's any people who listen to African music, per se, in here, but uh, I was watching an interview uh, by a Nigerian artist named Lakbaja, and he was talking about spreading Nigerian music throughout the world. And you can't really do that, you can't really spread your music like Americans do, unless you want to make people be like you. In the sense that people want, have to want to be Nigerian to want to listen to Nigerian music. The same way, in the sense that, like, how you were going with patois, a lot of people, I'm sure, would, if they, you were given the chance, you'd speak patois because it's cool to be Jamaican. So, to me, like, in order to make uh, Montreal music more successful, we have to make people become one of be more like Montrealers and be not be afraid of uh, being who we are. And with, a, and with a society that's kind of like, there is no identity as we're told, or there are multiple identities, you know, we don't want to make people kind of schizophrenic in, in how they want to become, you know, so I think it's in the city, or in general. We're a fragmented generation, we don't know where we stand. We have no value system, we have no moral system, we've lost a lot, a lot of what the people before us worked to build. So what are we doing at this stage? We're building our own thing. I'm gonna cycle real quick through some of the stuff that went through because we have a lot of opinionated folk over here and I'm gonna make it fast as possible. So as far as the internet goes, the internet is the great equalizer. Money used to be the great equalizer. The internet is the great equalizer. You don't have to go to the America. America is the last place you wanna go. The five biggest markets for music in the world are France, the United Kingdom, Japan, Germany, and the States. Go to those places before you ever go to the States. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. You lost me there. Yeah. Well, you lost Blast because the, because Blast you're talking on is, is mostly in the United States. No, 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 no. Just because he said the five biggest places, he included the States and then said, Well, yeah, that's, most places that's you straight, right? straightforward Blast. I just had to pull your card there, Schmidt. He's saying it's the fifth one. He's saying it's the fifth it's one. The you last go to the other four is what he's saying. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you you, uh, you want to say anything to that? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna say whoever my man who was over there talking about patwa and all that. You lost me at the word swag. I don't I don't really mess with that. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And, and I like I like everyone coming up here and, and saying that we need to be a community and all this holy man shit, which is cool. But I mean, we all know each other here. You know, I'm not trying to be blunt like that, like too blunt. Well, like maybe I am, but we, we're all peoples here. We all know each other. You know, what I mean, there's tons of people in the scene. There's youngins coming up. There's people. You know, what I mean, who who are you know, what I mean, have been here forever, and there's people who are always going to be coming up making rap music in the city or any kind of music. So, I mean, at the end of the day, like we were saying, Nick Fury's trying to have some quality control on his radio show. Some of the kids might come up and be like, yo, why aren't you playing my music? You know what I mean? There's, we're trying to make Montreal look better as a city, so it doesn't matter how old you are, if you're making good hip-hop music, we're gonna, you're going to be put on, you know what I'm saying? Because people look out for each other. Everyone here has you know, youngins who are rapping and who are coming up doing it, and we're kind of schooling them on, on how to you know, take the right turns and not make the same mistakes that we have. So that's kind of my idea, like the kind of more of a community is, is more that kind of thing than just saying we need to be more of a community, you know what I'm saying? It's actually just... You know, when someone reaches out to you like, yo, I'm a fan of yours, you know, I'm doing this, how can you help me out with that? It's not to be like, oh, fuck them, they're just a fan or whatever. It's to be like, all right, well, you, you know what I mean? I did this and that, and that helped me. And maybe that'll help you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, yeah, to come back on the, on the success, I think we haven't achieved success because of what we put our objective of success is. We've been focusing on things that are not really... Uh, true success anyway. It's a uh, and I think it goes with what markings were saying about like how the degradation of our moral values in the media the degradation of our, our identity or what we present and what we actually are uh, Individually or collectively and I think it also goes with what Cesar was saying 
I am successful every day I've put the work in. Every day I come back home, I'm like, wow, I did what I was supposed to do, get the work in. There's one person that told me that uh, someone I was looking up to when I was growing up or someone that is looking up to me right now that is sharing love and sharing uh, empathy for the, the challenge of being an artist. Then to me that's success, you know. I'm I'm good with the, the Raymond pasta and uh, and uh, you know the, the the minimum. I think art is is a need for me. So just for me to produce and to connect with people is actually my uh, my how I classify success. You know, so I'm successful every day. I don't uh, stay in bed uh, locked on Facebook. Uh, so.